Secretary, can, can I ask you a question about some of the technology that you're developing to fight the war on terror, specifically directed energy and high-powered microwave technology? Do you, uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? Mm -hmm. Goodness. Um, it, is, it is in, for the most part, the kinds of things you're talking about are in varying early stages. Do you want to do you have anything you'd add? I don't think I would add much. I, mm -hmm. I, it's, I think they are in early stages and, and, and probably not ready uh, for employment at this point. In, in the normal order of things, when you invest in research and development and begin a developmental project, uh, you don't have any intention or expectations that one would use it. Uh, on the other hand, the real world intervenes from time to time and you reach in there and take something out that is still in a developmental stage and you might use it. So it, the an I, it's not, your question is not answerable. It, is, it, is, uh, it depends on what happens in the future and how, how well things move along the track and whether or not someone feels it's appropriate to reach into a development stage and see if something might be useful, as was the case with the unmanned aerial vehicles. But you sound like you're willing to experiment with it. I, I think that's the point. And I think, and it's, we, we have, I think, from the beginning of this conflict, I think General Franks has been very open to looking at uh, new things, if there are new things available, and has been been willing to, to put them into the fight even before they've been fully <coughs> wrung out. And I think that's uh, not referring to these two particular cases of directed energy or, or high-powered microwave, uh, but, but sure. And, yes. and we will continue to do 